Hello, and welcome back to Folity, your source for the latest entertainment news and updates. Today, we've got a packed episode for you, covering some exciting developments in the world of music, film, and a heartwarming story of family support. So, grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's dive right in. Our first story takes us into the world of music sensation, Taylor Swift. The wait is finally over for international fans who have been eagerly anticipating the chance to experience Taylor Swift's record-breaking era's tour. Taylor Swift, at the age of 33, has made an exciting announcement regarding her tour. Last month, she revealed that Taylor Swift, the era's tour concert film, would be hitting theatres across the US starting on October 13th. But the big news is that it's not just a US event, it's going worldwide. Taylor Swift took to Instagram to share the exciting update saying, the era's tour concert film is now officially coming to theatres worldwide on October 13th. This theatrical concert experience promises to bring the magic of the era's tour to fans worldwide months before they can catch it in person. Taylor Swift couldn't contain her excitement stating, the era's tour has been the most meaningful electric experience of my life so far. She even encouraged fans to bring their energy and enthusiasm to the theater with era's attire, friendship bracelets, singing, and dancing encouraged. The response was incredible. Within just 24 hours of the announcement, ticket sales for the film broke records, showing the immense demand for this cinematic experience. The film will premiere in over 100 countries, including Europe's Odeon Cinemas locations and agreements with international theaters are in the works. As of now, you can grab your tickets for Taylor Swift, the era's tour concert film, with showtimes from October 13th to November 5th. Although we don't have confirmation of additional dates, the film is set to run for two hours and 40 minutes, slightly shorter than the actual tour, which goes over three hours. So brace yourselves for an unforgettable journey through Taylor Swift's era's tour, coming soon to theaters near you. Next up, we shift our focus to the world of cinema. Netflix recently dropped the first trailer for May-December, a film that promises to deliver a compelling and unsettling dynamic. Directed by Todd Haynes, known for his acclaimed works like Far From Heaven and Carol, this movie brings together the talents of Natalie Portman and Julianne Moore. The film's premise revolves around actress Elizabeth Berry, played by Natalie Portman, who prepares for her next role as the older woman in a scandalous tabloid romance. This romantic tale involves Gracie Atherton Yu, portrayed by Julianne Moore, and Joe Yu, played by Charles Melton. Their illicit affair made headlines years ago, leading to Gracie's imprisonment, but they ultimately married after her release. Things take a twist when Elizabeth arrives in Savannah, Georgia, to study the real-life couple for her role. The film explores the complexities of their relationships, with director Todd Haynes aiming to capture the nuances of their characters. Julianne Moore's character, Gracie, is described as a mixture of contradictions and fascinating elements. Both Elizabeth and Gracie are shown circling each other, trying to understand and trust one another, it promises to be a thought-provoking exploration of human connections and the consequences of choices made in the past. May-December is set to open the New York Film Festival and will hit select theaters on November 17th, followed by its Netflix debut on December 1st. So, mark your calendars for this intriguing film that's bound to keep you on the edge of your seat. Now let's shift our focus to a touching story of family support and advocacy. Emma Hemming Willis, the founder of Make Time Wellness and wife of legendary actor Bruce Willis, has been caring for her husband, 
following his frontotemporal dementia, FTD, diagnosis earlier this year. Emma recently appeared on the Today Show alongside Susan Dickinson, head of the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration, AFTD, to promote World FTD Week. After the emotional conversation, Emma received heartfelt praise from her stepdaughters, Scout and Tallulah Willis. Scout took to Instagram to express her immense pride in Emma's willingness to step into the public eye to raise awareness about FTD. She commended Emma's bravery and loving nature, highlighting her dedication to the cause. Tallulah also joined in, expressing her pride in her family's collective efforts. During the interview, Emma shared the challenges of dealing with Bruce's health and the impact of FTD on their family. FTD is a complex condition that affects the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain, leading to speech issues, emotional changes, and personality shifts. Emma's openness about their journey with FTD has shed light on the struggles faced by individuals and families dealing with this disease. It's a testament to the power of support and understanding within families facing such challenges. Emma emphasized the importance of self-care for care partners, not just caretakers, and encouraged seeking help and support. The Willis family's strength and resilience serve as an inspiration to many. As we wrap up this segment, our thoughts go out to the Willis family, and we commend Emma Hemming Willis for her advocacy and dedication to raising awareness about FTD. And there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from Folity. Until next time, stay entertained and stay foolish.